This is the best Kentucky Fried Chicken I ever had. Synonymous with fried chicken, KFC is a legend in the fast food space. This American brand enjoys a cult following across the world thanks to its delicious offerings. But you would be shocked to know some of the secrets behind it. Here are 10 untold truths of KFC, part two. I flew all the way to Kentucky to get some of your fried chicken. Colonel Sanders was not a real colonel. That's not the real Colonel Sanders. I'm the real Colonel Sanders. The founder of KFC, Harland Sanders, is the worldwide mascot of the KFC brand. His face can be found on every chicken bucket, soda cup, poster, and signage of KFC. He is widely known as Colonel Sanders, and unsurprisingly, most people believe it to be true. But that's not the truth. Harland Sanders was never a real colonel. He did serve in the U.S. Army, but reportedly only in the capacity of a mule tender. He started his fried chicken restaurant in Kentucky in 1930, and after it became popular, the restaurant brought in a lot of fame and business for the state of Kentucky. We're Thus, in 1935, the governor of Kentucky, Ruby LaFoon, decided to honor Sanders with the honorary title of Colonel. Sanders' contribution to the state cuisine was another reason for the honor. Then, in 1950, Sanders' friend, Governor Lawrence Weatherby, bestowed the title of Kentucky Colonel upon him. Thus, Harlan Sanders' Colonel title was just an honorary one and not a military rank. But Sanders took his title quite seriously. He adopted a certain look and dressing style that included growing a goatee, wearing a string tie, and a white suit. He took his honorary title so seriously that he was reportedly never seen in any other attire in public. KFC was not always known as KFC. Really? That's interesting. When Harlan Sanders decided to start his business of selling fried chicken in 1930, he did so in front of the Shell gas station near the small town of North Corbin, Kentucky, that he operated at the time. He called his small business Sanders Court and Cafe. His food and business were a success, and Sanders soon expanded his operations to a larger gas station nearby. By 1955, Sanders Court and Cafe was a well-established name on travelers' routes through Kentucky. So, when an interstate route was planned that completely circumvented Corbin, Sanders sold the restaurant and adopted a franchise model to expand his business. So where's the KFC now? But the name had to be changed to something else. Thus, Kentucky Fried Chicken was born. Though not called Sanders Court and Cafe or even Kentucky Fried Chicken, a KFC can still be found at the original Corbin location in Kentucky. With the addition of a museum that gives visitors a glimpse into the the history of KFC and Harlan Sanders. KFC's fried chicken wasn't always served in buckets. Kentucky chicken bucket. KFC is known for its signature fried chicken. Served in an iconic red and white striped cardboard bucket, customers have come to associate KFC with that ubiquitous bucket. But KFC's original fried chicken was not served in buckets. In fact, the buckets were unheard of until 1957. For almost 27 years after the opening of the restaurant, customers could only buy individual pieces of chicken. But in 1957, one of the KFC franchisees Pete Harmon came up with the idea of serving a bucket meal of fried chicken. You are so smart. Which consisted of five bread rolls, a pint of gravy, and 14 pieces of chicken. Since then, serving fried chicken in a bucket has become a signature concept of the KFC chain. So popular is KFC's bucket that in July 2019, KFC in Russia even launched a hat in the shape of the KFC bucket. Marketed as a fashion accessory for KFC's ultimate fans, the hat looks exactly like the KFC bucket, including the company logo. Now that's a fashion statement for a die-hard fan. Many KFC items have MSG. Ah, this is salt water! KFC's signature crunchy fried chicken is scrumptious and addictive, but not the most healthy food around. Unbeknownst to most people, KFC food is reportedly loaded with MSG, monosodium 
sodium glutamate. MSG is considered a food additive that is generally added to soups, canned vegetables, processed meat, and Chinese food to enhance its flavor. The US FDA, United States Food and Drug Administration, has recognized MSG as safe for human consumption, but the ingredient has remained mired in controversy for a long time. Thus, the US FDA has made it mandatory for companies to disclose information about foods containing MSG. Maybe the MSG will calm you down. As required by law, KFC responsibly lists the nutritional information of all its food preparations on its website. They even have a separate section for food allergies and sensitivities, where users can filter out all the allergens that they wish to avoid. MSG is actually just table salt combined with glutamate, a compound already found in most foods and your own body. Just like with anything else, it's always possible you could have an adverse reaction to the compound, but there is nothing remotely unsafe about MSG overall, other than the hysteria around it, that is. The name Kentucky Fried Chicken was not coined by Colonel Sanders. Ooh, chicken. Must eat. Need money. Any means necessary. KFC does not stand for Kentucky Fried Chicken anymore. But until the parent company phased it out completely from all official branding, KFC indeed was an acronym for Kentucky Fried Chicken. And contrary to popular belief, Colonel Sanders did not come up with the name. Harland Sanders was and still is the official mascot of KFC. But a painter hired by one of Sanders' first franchisees, Pete Harmon, coined the now famous name of the brand. The painter, Don Anderson suggested the name Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Which Harmon instantly liked. Harmon envisioned that the name would help the restaurant stand out from the competition. Plus, the word Kentucky in the name would attract customers to the restaurant with the promise of the legendary Southern hospitality. Thus, the name Kentucky Fried Chicken was born. Interestingly, Harmon was also the man behind the famous slogan, Finger Lickin' Good, and the creation of the chicken bucket concept. He is said to have trademarked the slogan, which soon began to be used in all branding and promotional materials of KFC. But it was replaced with So Good in 2011. KFC and Claudia Sanders Dinner House. Oh man, I used to eat there all the time. As the franchising business became successful, Sanders was unable to cope with the rising demands of a rapidly expanding business. Thus, he sold the KFC franchise in 1964, but continued to be the face of the business. The new owners had to simplify the original recipes of the Colonel so that relatively untrained staff at the various KFC outlets could easily prepare and serve the food while retaining the signature taste. But these new strategies did not go down well with the Colonel, and he was upset with the new management for altering his original recipes. Don't read my books and don't make my recipes! So he and his wife decided to open a new restaurant that served traditional Southern recipes which he had spent years perfecting. Colonel Sanders and his wife opened the Colonel's Ladies Dinner House in Shelbyville. KFC and Sanders went to court over this, but they reportedly reached an agreement, which required Sanders to refrain from bad-mouthing the KFC brand and refraining from using the KFC name. Thereafter, the couple reportedly sold the restaurant and it was reopened as Claudia Sanders Dinner House. It is said to be the only place other than KFC to be allowed to serve the original fried chicken recipe developed by Colonel Sanders. KFC's addictive and that's science. Addictive, eh? Much like any other fast food, KFC food is tasty and highly addictive. According to one explanation, White pepper, which was recently revealed to be one of the 11 secret ingredients in the original fried chicken recipe, was the reason for the addictive taste of KFC. In 2016, Colonel Sanders' nephew, Joe Lettington, accidentally revealed that he remembered hand-mixing the ingredients for the original fried chicken recipe while assisting his uncle, in which white pepper was the main spice. Pepper. Nobody could do pepper! White pepper is said to contain a component called piperine, which is said to stimulate specific receptors in our brain and tongue, making us feel a mouth-watering sensation. And since pepper is a major part of the original KFC recipe, it is sure to give you an addictive feeling. Another ingredient that gives KFC food its addictive taste is the amount of salt in it. Like most other fast foods, the fried chicken at KFC contains a large portion of salt, 
salt. And when the salt in the fried chicken meets the saliva in your mouth, you tend to salivate even more, giving rise to the addictive feeling. Texture, too, plays a big part in making anything addictive. The crispy, crunchy texture of the exterior of the fried chicken at KFC contrasts very well with the tender and juicy interior. Healthy KFC, anyone? Healthy. Getting healthy. KFC was once called Kentucky Fried Chicken, but it has now been rebranded as just KFC. This sudden name change looked fishy, and many people believed that this was due to falsified reports which stated that KFC was breeding mutant chickens with extra wings and legs, instead of serving actual chicken to customers. This, many believed, was the reason for the name change, so that they would not have to mention the word chicken in their branding and avoid legal trouble. But KFC seemed to have fooled everyone with that hoax story. According to many business publications, KFC changed the name in order to rebrand themselves as a company that offered more than just fast food. From fast food to fine dining? They no longer wished to have the word fried in their name in order to tap into a customer demographic that preferred healthier food options. It is unsure if KFC made any healthy changes to its menu, but it did run some commercials where the phrase kitchen fresh chicken was used instead of fried chicken. Ultimately, though, the real reason KFC changed their name was due to the Commonwealth of Kentucky trademarking the name so that all the companies capitalizing off of it would have to pay up. Not wanting to pay for licensing fees to keep the word Kentucky in their branding, KFC switched to using the acronym officially. Harland Sanders had a very tough childhood. Lousy, traumatic childhood. Before KFC, Harland Sanders had a very tough life, especially his childhood. He was born in rural Indiana on a farm, and his family was very poor. He was one of many siblings, and his father died when he was just five years old. His mother had to take up a job at a tomato cannery, and Sanders was left behind to take care of his siblings. He soon learned to cook, clean, and look after his siblings. Childhood ain't so jolly. He left home at 13 and took up odd jobs as a farmhand, and he even joined the U.S. Army at some point, but not in the capacity of an officer. Subsequently, Sanders got a correspondence course law degree from LaSalle Extension University and started practicing law at the Justice of the Peace Courts in Little Rock, Arkansas. KFC outlet used to smuggle drugs across the border. Containers that say KFC on them. There's always something good in there. When you think of bizarre stories related to KFC, a secret 590-foot drug smuggling tunnel to Mexico is not what you would have imagined. But that is exactly what authorities found at an abandoned KFC outlet in 2018 in San Luis, Arizona. A man called Ivan Lopez was spotted by the police while loading toolboxes into his car from an abandoned KFC outlet that he owned near the U.S. Mexico border. When the police pulled him over and searched his car, they found about 168 kilograms of narcotics in his car. Drugs are an illegal narcotic. But that was just the tip of the iceberg. Authorities discovered a 590-foot long and 22-foot deep tunnel that ran from the abandoned KFC in Arizona to the San Luis Rio Colorado Mexico residence of Mr. Lopez. This tunnel was used to routinely smuggle drugs from across the border. Order. How bizarre is that? I'll miss your Kentucky Fried Chicken. Help yourself to more great videos and tap that screen. Checking us out for the first time? Then show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.